Assalamu alaikum and welcome back once again to Today in African History with Baba Shaka. I'm Baba Shaka and today is June 18, 2021 and we are in the second half of the self-proclaimed International African Scientists and Inventors Month. Today, let's take a look at the hybrid car and its inventor. Ngalula Sandrine Mobenga is a Congolese engineer and professor who invented the hybrid electric car. Yes, she invented the hybrid electric car. Dr. Sandrine Mubengo was born in Kinshasa in the Democratic Republic of the Congo and is the daughter of a United Nations expert. Now, the decision to be an electrical engineer was informed by her experience at a medical facility. You see, Ms. Mubengo was hospitalized and in need of surgery with appendicitis at the age of 17. But unfortunately, the city had run out of power. So in, in pursuit of her passion, she studied electrical engineer at the University of Toledo and graduated in 2005. For her postgraduate education, she earned a master's and doctoral degree in developing hybrid vehicles and bi-level um, equalizer at the same university. Now, this young Congolese woman has continued to show the world that a woman, and especially an African woman, is as capable in terms of succeeding and that knowledge and its application is true power. She created a hybrid electric car by incorporating a hybrid, I'm, I'm sorry, incorporating a hydrogen fuel cell. This car runs using the hydrogen as fuel and direct current, and its zero pollution feature on the environment causes it to produce its only waste as pure water. Now, to supply the hydrogen, she went ahead to design a hydrogen generating station. This station is powered by a solar system that produces electricity, and it consists of a machine that dissociates water molecules into atoms of hydrogen and oxygen using an electrical source. And the car is capable of driving to the station to fill up on hydrogen. She was awarded the prize for the best research master of electrical engineering department, most outstanding thesis. Yes, indeed. She has accumulated over 14 years of professional electrical engineering experience. Dr. Mubenga has worked for large corp, um, companies like General Electric and Fertz, uh, Fertz um, Energy. That's F-I-R-T-S, Fertz Energy. The engineer has some awards to her name. The Encoy Merit Award by the Association of Congolese from Washington, D.C. Dr. Mubenga was awarded the Congolese Merit Award by the Association of Friends of the Congo in Boston, Massachusetts, in the United States. She was also named Young Engineer of the Year by the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers, or the IEEE. Dr. Mubenga has been a guest at numerous international conferences to showcase her experience in the field. Now, in 2011, she went ahead and started her own company, the SMN, the SMN Power Group, which main activities include developing renewable energy solutions for people in Africa, and its aim is to design and install solar systems and renewable energy. Now, alongside their work in engineering, the SMN pro provides financial support for African students who study science and work on initiatives to tackle change. Now, to co complement these scholarships, Dr. Mubenga launched the STEM DRC initiative, which looks to encourage African young people to become inspired by science and engineering. So, whenever someone attempts to portray Africa as a place of starving children with distended bellies, you be sure to tell them about Dr. Mubenga, especially if they're driving or if you're driving a hybrid electric car. Right. Thank you very much to our subscribers who continue to support our efforts here at Today in African History. For those of you who have not yet subscribed, please take this time to hit that subscribe button just below the screen and bless us with your much needed support. Please like, and leave a comment down in the comment section below. But most importantly, please share, especially with the young amongst us, because as you and I both know, this material is not taught in our schools. Mm -hmm. So, until tomorrow, inshallah, this is Baba Shaka with Today in African History. Masala.